What's going on YouTube? Stocks by the numbers wanted to come in with another update about a very popular company that I know we're all very excited about in the long term. Company in question, Lithium Americas Corporation, ticker symbol LAC listed here on the New York Stock Exchange. Now we've had some life since I started making these update videos uh, roughly uh, 40, 50 minutes ago. The Dow was again down at the lowest of about 450 points, I believe. Dow dipped below sub 32k for just a little bit and it looks like traders have piled in feeling that that was a little bit too low and now we rallied down is only down about 200 points vix is up about 15 percent so you know what that means is obviously we have some bad negative headlines here going on with the uh, silicon valley bank there however on the flip side what this does is this creates buying opportunities for you know the good companies that we wanted to buy but were potentially a little bit too high and we felt that we can get a little bit of a little bit better of an entry level so to speak but i want to take a look at a lac here because last time we looked at it was right before christmas time i believe so you know if we pull up a chart here uh, you can see, yeah, this was like about where I made the video. It was at 20. Stock pulled back to sub 18 and then, of course, immediately ran up to about 27 and has now since pulled back sitting here at 2066 down almost 5% here on the day. So we're a couple of dollars off this 52 week low, but let's look at what's going on here. The company's maintaining $2.8 billion market cap right now. Again, for a little bit, it dipped below 20, but it seems like the $20 level here is the strong level. The company really isn't doing anything again, waiting for approval, waiting to start bringing out that lithium for us. Analysts have a strong buy on it with price targets on the mid 30s up into the 40s, obviously, because people know that this is going to be the largest uh, lithium producer here in North America. And of course, domestic products are awesome. But, uh, you know, pulling back, you can see it kind of looks like we're in like a downtrend here. This is a one year chart going back for the last 12 months. So it may get rough before it does get better. And according to this trend, you know, even if you just amateurishly draw out these trend lines here, you know, you can see that we're in this downward channel, right? However, I, I, I'm not exactly sure when it will apex and potentially explode. So if we come here, hypothetically, we're looking at what? Three months from now. So it'll probably be longer. It'll probably be like there. All right. So inside of the next six months, in my opinion, we could have something seriously big taking place with LAC. You have earnings coming out. Looks like a, a week from today. Chances are they're going to bring the stock down off of those earnings and um, a little beat there. But um, even bringing it down, I would say the low would be about 17 and then it will most likely bounce and uh, try to regain this fib here of 22.33. But it will most likely get back to the top of this trend line here. But hypothetically, if this is the tr the uh, yeah, the trend and the pattern that it continues, again, it will bounce around and then potentially around here. So summertime of this year would be best case scenario, in my opinion, if it maintains this range and then breaks out. As you can see, we're hoping for July, potentially August. So again, it's just a wait and see situation, but they do have the earnings coming up. Markets are rocky right now. You know, you got that BS financial news coming out with the bank, so Silicon Valley. So we have no idea what's going on, but the stock has been pulling back drastically after coming off the lows and rallying up. The MACD doesn't really look too hot there on the daily. RSI sitting there at 37.1, so it's not as low as it could be. That's why we could potentially see sub-20 and go into the, uh, the high teens. Switching over here to the weekly, we have an RSI of 43 and a quarter. Hasn't really hit that attractive RSI yet. And if you look here, you can see the bottom Bollinger Band here of 1827. So that's why I'm saying with the company posting earnings, but of course not really doing any business right now, they may drop them down and begin to chunk them down into the high teens here back to this 18 level. The 200-day moving average is consistently rising still and is now sitting at about 15 and a half. 
However, again, does look like the MACD is curling there on the weekly. The RSI looks like it has the potential to pull back at least 10, 12, 15 more points. And that's why I feel we could see 18. So, of course, I still like LAC, and I just wanted to do a little bit of an update because I know that we had the big rally. Um, now, we're going too far here. We had the big rally. I know it ran up into the high 20s. A lot of people were pissed off because they knew they could have got it at sub 20, and now it's just been kind of slowly selling off here, and now we have it at around $20. And I know a lot of people have it on their watch list, and they're wondering if this is a buy right now and if they should pull the trigger. And in my opinion, listen, in the long term, probably not going to be a big deal whether you get in at 20 or, you know, 1840. But if you really want to hold yourself to that strict disciplined, trying to get the best possible entry, in my opinion, I, I would be hesitant because I feel that they're going to break they're going to bring it down and have it break $20 going into next week. And again, they have the earnings, which of course we know are not going to show us anything. Plus, I do feel that the markets are going to be volatile for the next week or two. I really don't think, well, they shouldn't anyway, but I really don't think like Monday, Tuesday, we're just immediately going to skyrocket back up, you know, six, seven, eight hundred points on the Dow and everything's going to go back to where it was. I really don't think they're going to play it like that this time. I think they're going to keep it volatile for the next at least couple of weeks coming off of this uh, financial news coming out of Silicon Valley. But that's just my take. That's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys are piling into LAC and listen, I don't blame you. But again, pricing and timing, maybe we can get this for about 18 and a half, even though it's sitting here at 20, uh, 2063 and it does look very attractive. We could potentially buy more shares in the high teens, not necessarily the low 20s. But that's just my take. Uh, I know you guys are watching this one, so I wanted to give a quick update here on LAC. But I think that's my last video for the day. I just pumped out like four updates on some companies inside of the last 60 minutes. So I know you guys appreciate it, but I actually have to go food shopping. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Stocks by the numbers here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Just like everyone on YouTube says, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Helps out the algorithm. If you like the videos, please consider subscribing to the channel really means a lot to me waking up just seeing that number slowly climb guys seriously seriously it, it really does mean a lot to me and um you know i know a lot of you guys you know you're, you're good guys you have good families and you're just trying to better yourself every day better educate yourself you know even if we make mistakes again we have to know why did we make a mistake you know what happened wrong we, we bought LAC yesterday at, you know, 21, 22. Now it's at 26. You know, what happened? How can I change this? How can I make sure that next time I'm going to nail it? And there's going to be no doubt that I made the right call. And I know what I'm talking about, right? That's the kind of confidence you guys need to have when you go into these situations. And again, if you make a mistake and you got it wrong, you have to learn from the mistake and you have to move forward knowing, okay, next time I'm going to be right seven out of 10 of my calls. Okay. Next time I'm going for nine out of 10. I can do it. I know I can. So stay positive, stay focused, stay confident, but most importantly, stay disciplined. Uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate your time. See you in the next one.